Hi, my name's Hugh and welcome back to my home studio. This stunning instrument next to me is the Clarivox Centennial Theremin by Moog. This instrument was designed to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of the theremin, which was invented by Leon Theremin. The title Clarivox was given to this instrument to commemorate its first virtuoso, Clara Rockmore. This really is Moog's elite theremin. My breath was taken away opening the box on this instrument. It is absolutely stunning. The Clarivox was designed to include all of the absolutely classic quintessential theremin features, as well as some brand new and really musical features. Not only is the Clarivox a highly expressive gesture driven instrument, it's also a synthesizer and it does have a USB port in the back as well as five pin MIDI in and out. So you can send it information or you could send information from this unit to drive other synthesizers. The Clarivox also has CV functionality. On the back of this unit, you've got a separate tuner out and a separate main out. There's also a foot switch mute control and there's also a USB and five pin MIDI in and out on this unit as well. Everything you need is on the front panel here. I love these delay controls, just being able to dig in and, and use it straight away. I mean, your first sounds on this instrument are going to be like dub sirens or maybe spooky wailing noises. To learn the theremin is going to take some time. It's a really hard instrument to master. Maybe to aid with some of this frustration or maybe for a live performance situation, the Clarivox does have a quantize function and you can also input scales into it as well, select scales. So any of your movements will fall within certain pitch ranges and that might help you on your journey into the land of theremin but to really run free with it uh, would be the ultimate ultimate expression i really think that you can relate the sound of the theremin to something like a voice or a one string bowed instrument absolutely beautiful the sustain and the movement that you can get on theremin not to mention the wacky and sci-fi sound effects that you can get from this unit don't forget that if you are loving this video, hit like and subscribe down below, then head over to the Muso's Corner YouTube channel where there are heaps more videos for your entertainment. Look, I'm going to try and get a sound out of this instrument and I suppose this will give you an insight of what turning a theremin on for the first time will look like. Let's see what happens. Okay, this thing is awesome and it's going to take a little bit of work to get proficient on it, but that's part of the musical journey. Because this instrument is so gesture driven, I do think that it's quite instinctual and if you've got a little bit of a musical inkling, then I really think that with some time, you'll start to get some melodies and some tunes out of this. With some time. And again, because it's gesture driven, even if it's your first instrument, I think there's that instinctual nature of there's pitch, there's pitch, and there's volume, and there's volume, and man, away you go, start the journey. As far as becoming Paganini of the theremin, that's going to take a little while. Look, if you want more information about the Clarivox Centennial Theremin by Moog, head straight over to the Muso's Corner website, that's www.musoscorner.com.au. I'm Hugh Jones, and like always, happy music making. Oh, <laughs> oh,